Well, what is going on, guys? And welcome back. Look, we all have our most hated cards in Marvel Snap, and mine are most certainly different than yours. Like mine, for example, Razor Jet Ski has a mustache and ruins half the deck designs that I try to do within the game. But today is considered the Massacre of the Red Wedding, a day that will go down in history in Marvel Snap as the most publicly hated cards within the game are getting nerfed big time in fact we've got a couple buffs to talk about today to start off august but let's talk about all the cards that are being pruned to the void starting out with i am a god you dull creature and i will not be bullied by that ladies and gentlemen it is time to send the old four five loki that would transform your hands into cards from your opponent's deck to the void well, now we got a much different Loki variant that you're looking at here, going from the four cost to a three cost, five power with it on reveal still. That's not going to transform your hand, but rather your deck with the starting deck of 12 cards from your opponent, which is obviously much different and he's much worse. He's going to be a lot, just you're not going to see the same Loki decks that you saw of old, but we'll get to that here in a moment. First of all, guys, on best, you could get yourself six cards, right? That would all transform negative one cost and just defeat your opponents pretty easily last couple turns of the game with increased discounts. But now, even if you play them on curve, you're best looking at around four cards that you can draw into for the remainder of the game. Now, the stat line's great. The effect is still very strong, but the way he's designed as a card is going to be very different than what we are used to. He's probably still going to be best in Erisham, uh, most likely here. But on top of that, some synergy plays that used to work with him aren't going to be the decks at all. The Snow Guards, if you will, right? The Nick Furies, the Cables. You can expect these play rates to go down, as well as like Agent Coulson. I've all lost their direct synergy, and I, for one, am uh, excited to kind of see what this is going to look like. I also think as it stands, we have to see it in play but I think it's all 12 cards, so your deck size is going to get that much bigger. Uh, so you could have some synergy maybe with Blah, but we're going to talk about him later. And then Darkhawk is just going to feast on Loki because you make your deck all that much bigger, again, depending on when you play him. And so I don't think Loki is gone whatsoever. He's not a bad card by any means, but he is probably much worse than he was. Uh, but it's also going to take some time. Enjoy the break. I think people are going to discover the best ways to play this. Maybe Crystal comes back. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, but either way, Loki is definitely taking a hit. Now, next up on the list to send to the void is, ladies and gentlemen, for the third time, Mr. Leech. Oh, yes. The most hated card in Marvel Snap was a 5-5 five, five after his, like, 20th iteration. On reveal, he would remove the text from your cards with on reveal abilities in your opponent's hand. And now guys, we have a much worse version of the card. Leech now is a four chaos, four power card, and he has an on reveal that removes all of the text, but only on six cost cards. He is the release valve maybe on some six cost cards, but dramatically, it's like essentially X-Men 97 episode five for those that have seen it. That's what's happening to the card here. He's probably going to exit the game of Marvel Snap, right? Right with Adam Warlock, both of them, uh, maybe Adam comes back into Loki eventually, but both of them are probably gone from the game for a while now. And I don't think there's a lot of people going to attend the funeral of Leech here. Probably one of the most hated cards for a long time. Still creeps in from time to time. It's just not an enjoyable experience for a large part of the majority of the uh, the player base. Maybe not you, uh, but yeah, Leech is dead. He's gone. Goodbye. And now for the next card, guys, Dr. Octopus, which it's always sad seeing an OG card get the boot. But out with the old Dr. Octopus that on reveal, he would pull four cards from your opponent's hand to their side of this location. And he was a 5-10. So now a 4-8 Dr. Octopus, which I've upgraded the card to reflect what he does now. He's going to be pulling one card. Screw the four tentacles. He only needs the one from your opponent's hand. That is the lowest powered card they have onto the location. And you can look at this a couple of ways. It took me a second to really digest it, and I'm still not really sure yet. I've seen people on both camps here. I don't know if it's a huge nerf or if it's even better. I, I'm not really sure. Now, it is removing the, the toxicity of all the cards coming out and just was an awful, awful play experience in Erisham. Uh, I gave my actually opinion on this. I didn't think he needed to get any type of treatment done to him. Erisham really, though, affected his play rate and the way that he was utilized in the game. And I think they stated they were worried about this moving forward into Snap. So they made him a 4-8 that only pulls the one card. 
on tempo this is not bad at all i mean gladiator is kind of in my opinion uh just a better card all around but it's definitely going to open up the design space of these decks in the way that you played on curve and 4 8 is definitely not a bad stat line you still disrupt you still clog and there's a lot of things that it can be done zalkok though was a great way to keep like super combo decks in check and so it does have me worried about that department if those are going to really skyrocket in just overall play pattern uh but man i um, i'm conflicted here i am i am sad to see this card go in some ways i know most of the people in marvel snap is probably incredibly happy shang chi was a big threat that could take care of him most of the time now he's under that threshold but we're gonna have to see it's always a tough one when they like mess with the character in a big way especially like a pool three card that's been around for a long time ultimately this is probably for the best they know the best they know the stats heck they probably know the stats of when doc Ock is played and someone just like force quits out of their game and never picks up marvel snap again that's maybe why he's getting adjusted uh, i don't create for the game i just make loud uh, videos but overall, again, we're going to have to see how this settles down. There's going to be some new ways to play the card, though. Now, if you thought we're done, no way. We still have to address a couple of the cards. And we have Blob, who is getting hit yet again. And almost back-to-back -back balance updates, guys. Blob is yet again taking a nerf. And this one, I'm not so sure about. Essentially, the only thing they're changing about him is he would gain power until he would get 15 or more power. And now the new Blob here, I'm not sure what to think, okay? He goes up to only 13, which if you guys were like me, mine always stopped at 15, never went above that. Uh, Did he deserve the nerf? I, I'm not sure. Like Doc Ock, Loki both got adjusted with Erisham, and so now with Blob in the mix, like did he need to take another hit? We'll have to see. The Spotlight Week coming up has him in it, and so like be careful there a little bit. Red Hulk is now, in my opinion, clear away, probably the best six cost card or right up there with the with the top three uh but yeah blob here is still gonna be able to counter dark hawk and, and you know maybe cassandra nova decks if that got out of control i wanted to see cassandra nova in the meta a bit more and these changes before blob took any more heat because now i just don't know why you would play him all that much and outside of thanos and airstrom he wasn't really played to begin with uh but yeah blobs uh he just keeps going on a diet uh like on this rate just slim fast away he's gonna go up to like i don't know five power and just be even worse of a card so we'll have to see i said at the beginning of the video everybody has their most hated cards you might freaking hate this guy i don't know i don't mind him too much but uh speaking of that drop down below your most hated card i want to see by the numbers and if you see yours like just upvote it i want to see by the numbers like the general or at least my viewership of like who hates who and lastly in the nerf department we have white widow who we kind of thought this was coming she was just far and away like one of the best two cost cards and all they're really doing is taking off one power from the widow's kiss this is one of those like i expected this one right like anytime you have a card in a cost that is much better than all the cards in that cost outside of maybe thena it's time for the adjustment to happen white widow not only clogged right but on top of that she had power on her side she was only two cost there were so many reasons to play the card and quite honestly still play the card she does what she does best still play her in something like death domain to win the location all those little unique ways to play her in mix with her just being a great on curve play for most of the decks out there and so i'm not crazy surprised at this change still think she's going to be a good card you're not going to see a huge dip in play rate but obviously it'll make her a little worse so that is enough pruning for one day. Let's talk about the couple buffs that we do have. First off, we have War Machine. That was a 4-6, and he's still going to be the exact same, but he's now going to be a 4-7. And this is going to be completely fine. I don't think it's going to skyrocket his play. He was like just starting to trend upwards, and then they got rid of Professor X, uh, and you can move cards out of the location. And so, you know, uh, that really shut down a lot of what War Machine does unless they make more ways to control the board in the future which I don't know. They kind of already said that they, they, they're trying to stay away from that a bit. Kind of evident from today's Doc Ock change. Uh, but yeah, War Machine getting a power point, certainly going to buff up, you know, the card just a little bit more, if you will. Uh, but Control as a whole, man, Control decks are kind of just, uh, they're just not being played these days. I don't know about you. But with that being said, we do have one more card here that I didn't think would get another buff anytime soon. And it's coming at a great time. Apocalypse, as you know, was a 6-6 after being nerfed in the past. He was a little too strong. To their liking and he would gain plus four power when you discarded him he's going up to a six eight and i'm coming fresh off a video yesterday where i played discard all day and you could still get him to respectable numbers but it was nothing like the apoc of old 
I'm pumped for this. Just a little bit of extra power to really start amping up this card is perfect, right? You discarded him once. He was a 610 anyway, so the Shang-Chi thing didn't exist. And getting him up to the high numbers with Dracula is the cornerstone of how discard would work. And I had trouble yesterday. It wasn't the easiest deck to play. There was, as I said in the video, certainly easier ways to get that power or win games without going through all the nonsense of discard with the Moon Knight buff. Now with this, I think, dare I say, I think reliable, dependable discard is definitely going to be a mix in the meta, which I think it should be because it's been out for a while. Now, all this being said, guys, I do think Arishim is still going to be a very fun deck, a very good deck. Loki's still going to be played in there. The strategy of Arishim is probably going to change just a tad bit. And this is the new look, guys. This is all of the cards that got pruned to the void and welcome in all the new variants of the cards. So there you have it, guys. There's a big week for us with Moon Knight. We had some new modes being introduced in the game. Alliances, the whole nerf apocalypse, the red wedding of Marvel Snap. Uh, has come and this video is coming to an end if you guys haven't already subscribed down below i'll be picking yet another person to join the alliance again just drop down below your most hated card and snap like a comment reply to a comment whatever you want to do uh we still have a little space left that i wanted to reserve to you guys uh my subscribers anyway hopefully you enjoyed today good luck out there in the new meta and uh as always guys happy snapping